everything, everything, wonderful, wonderful, we're going to do update on this one, man. We do update on this one, man. So apparently, man, the family of Robert Davis, the black guy, who was accused of killing Philadelphia journalist Josh Kruger, the white guy, says he was blackmailed by a reporter over sex videos and the two were in a relationship. Press one if you believe that. Press one if you believe that the the the, the gay journalist was blackmailing this 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 guy, this black guy, with 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 sex videos and they were in a relationship. Everything is so wondrous. <sighs> yeah, I, I believe that, man. I believe that, man. Like, there's no reason for this guy to be around you. And there's no reason for y'all to be living together. What, you gonna have a straight roommate? What, you gonna be gay with a straight younger roommate? And a lot of um, predators like to prey on younger people. Because younger people are more influential. I mean, they're easier to, um, they don't have money. If you got some money, it's like the white white dudes in the hood, man. When I was when I was in my young in, in, in my day, man, very common for guys to openly pray on younger girls, man. Like 16, 17, 18. I'm talking about adults, full grown men in their 20s. Because you got money and this little chick is broke and she got a fat butt. And the coochie smell like baby powder. Very common, man. I've seen it so much, man. People, older people pray on you. And when I say pray, I'm only using that. Because a lot of times it just is what it is. It's just it's just a relationship. The young girls like the older guys too. The young girls like the older guys too. The older guys have cars. The older guys have money. The older guys have experience. They know what they're doing. And the young girl, she got a fresh, bubbly, soft, vivacious body and a pretty face. So I've seen that plenty of times, man. So I'm sure that this guy was um, I, 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 I totally believe that the family when they say that, man. Um, it says, the family of 19-year-old accused of shooting dead, a beloved Philadelphia journalist, has claimed the duo had a sexual relationship and the teen was being blackmailed over disturbing videos. Police say Josh Kruger, 39, died after being shot seven times last week inside his two-story South Philadelphia townhouse. But Robert Davis, who has remained on the run since being identified as the suspect and killed. Damn, they ain't caught this boy yet. Davis family has now claimed he has he had been in a sexual relationship with Kruger and involved drugs since he was only 15 years old. 
I believe that use drugs, use weed. A lot of older dudes use weed to get younger girls. Young girls like to smoke weed or pop pills. Older dudes got money for the pills. We got money for that. The teen's mother told the outlet that Davis said Kruger had threatened to post sexually explicit videos of him online before the shooting murder. That explains the seven shots. That explains the seven shots, the rage. He was enraged. Because the, the black dude was probably trying to still act, trying to hide it. The black dude was probably still trying to act like, you know what I'm saying? He probably was just gay, um, gay on the side. He probably wasn't like openly gay. He probably wasn't openly gay. You know what I'm saying? He probably was just secretly gay. And this guy was going to out him. That happens a lot with um, transgenders. We see that a lot with transgenders. They threaten to expose guys, and next thing you know, they're dead. Yeah, I believe this, man. I, listen, man. I believe this 100%. The family claims they watched Davis's life unravel with the relationship and the drug addiction that came with it. So the family knew. He was scared, the mom said. He wanted me to do some stuff I didn't want to do, and I didn't do it, he said, and he was going to blackmail me. Kruger was known as a journalist and activist who survived years of homelessness, sex work, and drug addiction to go on to work for the mayor, the city's homelessness services, and a reporter for outlets, including the Inquirer. He was open about being a gay man living with HIV. Days after his murder, police described the pair as acquaintances adding that Kruger, a community activist, was trying to help Davis get through life. Since then, investigators have allegedly discovered disturbing, explicit images in Kruger's home. A source told the Inquirer, it's not clear whether the images feature Davis. Detectives also allegedly found meth in his bedroom. Davis's mother, Danica, told the outlet her son called her shortly after Police named him as the shooter on Friday and tried to explain himself while stopping short of admitting the murder. The mother and her older son, Jalen, reasoned that if Davis had suffered from mental health issues from a young age and started sneaking out when he was 15 and coming back high on drugs. He would also bring back expensive gifts like Gucci pants. Davis allegedly told the family he was seeing an older white woman who worked for the government. When his mom and brother would see the name Josh frequently pop up on his phone, Davis claimed he was the woman's brother who was gay. The family claimed they even followed the team once the Kruger's block to figure out where he was going to get in drugs after they believed he had become addicted to meth. But on Friday, Davis told the family, it was the journalist he had been seeing for years. Davis's brother said the teen arrived home at about 4.45 a.m. the night of the murder, two hours before police showed up with a warrant for his arrest. Kruger, who worked for five years in the city's government from 2016 to 2021, survived the initial counter and made it outside to seek help before succumbing to his wounds about a half hour later at a local hospital. There were no signs of forced entry at the home. The police believe the shooting happened at 1.30 a.m. on Friday. So this dude got honored and shit. They honored this white boy. They gave this fucking guy a fucking, a fucking vigil and they uh, talked about how great he was on the news and he was fucking grooming this 15-year-old and fucking getting him high off of meth since he was 15. 
This guy's a fucking predator. This guy's a fucking predator. Mm. 